If you just got yourself a Van Ert Trap or you're thinking about getting a Van Ert Trap, then it is time to watch this video. Whether you're new to using these traps or you've been using them but you haven't had any important advice or tips, this video is going to walk you through some very critical safety considerations. These safety considerations will prevent accidents, minimize the chances of trapping native birds, and help you become a more responsible trapper. Also, be sure to look at the links and resources in the description because there will be a lot there that you can refer to. For people new to this channel, a Van Ert trap is a bird nest box trap that's used to trap invasive house sparrows and European starlings that regularly kill native cavity nesting songbirds. These traps are intended for conservation purposes and they're live traps, meaning they don't kill the animal. Okay, so with that out of the way, our first rule when using Van Ert traps is to never, ever leave these traps unattended. What I mean by that is never set a trap to be active and then leave for the day or go on vacation or leave it unattended for even more than an hour. Van Ert traps can sometimes catch a native bird which would need immediately released. Plus even if it were an invasive bird you don't want them sitting in the nest box for hours or longer. Along those lines my second rule is never leave these traps set overnight. You might think that nothing will get into the nest box overnight and maybe it's a rainy day and you just don't feel like taking it down. That would be a mistake. At night, other animals may become interested in the nest box. And while it's rare, it would be a terrible thing to trap an animal for several hours overnight. Mice, flying squirrels, tree frogs, even roosting birds may enter the box during the evening hours or even at nighttime and then get trapped as a result. To make all of this easier, when starting out, one of the best practices is to only set the trap when you've seen a house sparrow go into the nest box or you're seeing starlings become interested in the box. By following this rule, you're going to minimize the chances of catching a native bird by accident. The next extremely important rule when using a Van Ert trap responsibly is to always monitor it. By that, I mean check every 15 to 30 minutes to see if the trap is sprung. Some people recommend once per hour, but I lean on the more conservative side. On very hot days or very cold days, you're going to want to check those traps definitely every 15 minutes or sooner. Once the trap has sprung, you must immediately determine whether you've caught a house sparrow, a starling, or a native bird, and then deal with that accordingly. Monitoring your trap can be a lot easier if you're using a camera, and I've been recommending the Blink cameras because they are extremely affordable, they're really easy to mount to the nest box, and they're meant for outdoors. They're also motion activated. To learn more, I'll have resources in the description, so definitely check that out. Just make sure if you're using an S-Box camera that your notifications are on and loud and the sensitivity is bumped up and that your batteries are fully loaded and you're able to check it. When it comes to bird safety, especially using van or traps, it is vital that you properly identify whether you've caught an invasive bird or a native bird. For house sparrows, this can sometimes be challenging. Other brown birds that might end up caught in a Van Ert nest box trap are Carolina wrens and house wrens, which you might hear right now. Sometimes people even confuse chickadees with house sparrows. So I do have a video that shows how to use identifiers to rule out a house sparrow or determine that the bird that you actually have is a house sparrow and not something else. And that, and that video also has a little quiz to help you practice. For starlings, I'd say a female cowbird might be a bird that will go into the nest box and could be confused with a starling. And while grackles can get confused with starlings, it's really unlikely that they go into an nest box. I, I don't want to say it's impossible because wild birds are still individual and they can sometimes do surprisingly uncharacteristic things. Maybe there were some safety rules that I missed and if so, comment your suggestions. If we get a decent list running, what I'll do is I'll add it to a pinned comment and then maybe do an updated video down the road. Now that you have a guide to responsibly use Van Ert traps, it's time to learn how to set it up so you can really have some success. And for that, you should check out this video. It can be really frustrating sometimes. A house sparrow might be going into the box, but as soon as you place the trap and set it up, suddenly they're no longer interested. So I'll walk you through that so you can have more success. 